Hey, what is up guys? Ross Thomas, the Brotographer here, and today I am reviewing an awesome piece of equipment. This is the Digital Photo Thanos Arm. All right, so a while back, Digital Photo actually sent me out their Thanos Arm, and I liked it so much that I reached out to them and asked if they wanted to sponsor this video review. So keep in mind, yes, this is a sponsored review, but they haven't asked me to say anything, and I only reached out to them because I liked this product so much. All right, so what is the Thanos arm? Well, it can do this. Now, that's crazy because I have a ton of stuff rigged up on the Ronin S. I've had two mic packs, a monitor, I've got arms, ND filter on the lens, and this is actually an extremely heavy setup. Now, I do like to only use this rig when I'm doing like walk and talks and stuff like that, and there are some downsides to using something like this. But for what it does, this $450 piece of equipment can absolutely save your back. It's got this piece right here that straps around your chest. It's got these buckles in the back. And then it's got the Thanos arm that actually connects and slides down this centerpiece right here. And because this apparatus is strapped around my back, my back doesn't take the brunt of the weight. Now the weight actually moves a little bit into my shoulders, but sits mostly on my hips. Now there are a whole bunch of different devices out there for larger gimbals and steady cams and things like that, but nothing that's really good and conducive for these one-handed gimbals, even though I've actually made mine a two-handed gimbal. I just did a walk and talk interview style shoot where my wife was interviewing a blogger and we shot for about 45 minutes. Now typically with the Ronin S, this is a very heavy gimbal, my back is so tired by the end of a shoot. Uh, my mid back in particular, because I'm hunched over like this around the screen, the Thanos essentially takes all of that away. So for walk and talk style shoots where I need to rig up my gimbal here, it is absolutely amazing. Take into consideration that you will need to use this in the right environment because with the Thanos, you can only keep the gimbal in this one orientation. You can't tilt it down, you can't roll side to side. Now, you can go left and right, and you're gonna have to use the joystick to move it up and down. But aside from that, you're really not gonna get any motion. This arm here is simply designed to take the stress off of your back. But once again, for the style shoot that I just did, it is absolutely amazing. I've been wearing this for probably over an hour now, and my back isn't even feeling a thing. I'm also wearing a backpack on top of that just to keep some extra gear in, and I haven't had any problems at all. All right, so what kind of gimbals is the Thanos arm compatible with? Well, a variety of them. As you can see, I have the Ronin S right here, and this arm comes down and it clamps around most style gimbals. This can clamp around the Ronin S style handle where it's a little bit more oval shaped, and they also include an adapter to where it works just as well with a round style handle, like something like the Feutek AK4500 that David is filming on right now. So another cool thing that the Thanos arm does is it actually dampens the Z-axis. With these one-handed three-axis gimbals, you actually don't get that up and down movement dampened, but they do claim, digital photo claims, that you can get up to a 30% dampening of that Z-axis. Now, I don't notice a ton of difference when I'm like running or bouncing with the arm right here. But the big thing is, as you get more tired, you're not gonna wanna do that ninja gimbal walk anymore, and you're gonna get lazy. So what the arm does in those instances is, and I have noticed that, as I get more tired, it does help me dampen that up and down, which is the Z-axis, just a little bit. It's not a ton, but it does make a little bit of a difference. So the Thanos arm from Digital Photo is gonna cost you about 450 bucks. Now they actually do sell on B&H Photo now, which is really cool and I highly recommend buying from an authorized reseller like that. But take this into consideration. Yes, 450 bucks is just as expensive as some of the smaller gimbals out there that are sold. However, this thing is gonna absolutely save your back in those situations where you know you're gonna be rigging up your gimbal with a ton of stuff. And 
trust me, as someone who has lower back issues uh, from working out, I'm constantly training people in the gym, $450 is a small price to pay for having less back issues. All right, to sum it up, the digital photo Thanos arm has completely saved my back in shoots like this, and I would highly, highly recommend it. Once again, they did sponsor this video, but they didn't ask me to say anything. I actually reached out to them and asked if they wanted to sponsor it so I could get it out as quickly as possible. The only con that I can see for this device is that you cannot roll or put the gimbal up or down. But if you just need it in the basic orientation, you might need to pan a little bit. You can still tilt with the joystick. The Thanos arm is gonna be perfect for you. And again, save your back. 450 bucks is gonna get you this combination. And I think it is highly worth it. And I highly recommend it. Anyways, if you have any questions about the Thanos arm and vest, please leave them down in the description below and I will definitely get to each and every one of those questions. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to The Brotographer for more content just like this and I will see you in the next one. Peace.